In this video, we will show you the processes for waiving out of and changing your health insurance coverage as well as opting out of the student legal services fee. All undergraduate students who are registered for six or more hours of coursework are required to carry some form of health insurance. As a result, students are automatically billed for the Comprehensive Student Health Insurance Plan. In order to opt out of the Comprehensive Plan or to change coverage to the Supplemental Wills Care Plan, students need to provide information about their external coverage. From buckeyelink.osu.edu, type Student Health Insurance in the search bar and then choose the first task listed in the search results. You may need to log in using your username and password on the university's secure login screen, the same username and password required for your university email account. Toward the bottom of this page, you'll find the Finances section. You should then find a header titled Student Health Insurance. Under that header, you will see a link titled Select Waive Coverage. When you select this link, you will find a page with information about Ohio State's insurance requirement for students. There are also links to websites that have more resources to help students make an informed decision about what plan is right for them. Please note on this page that once a student has made a decision about coverage, there are buttons for a student to officially select their insurance option, including the Ohio State Comprehensive Student Health Insurance, Wills Care Supplement, and Waiver, or No Ohio State Student Health Insurance. Once you select the appropriate option for you, for this example, I'll be waiving out of Ohio State coverage, you will see that there are now options in the Academic Terms drop-down box. Since I will be waiving my coverage for the entire year, I choose the option that says Autumn 17, Spring 18, Summer 18. After these selections, I click on the Next button. In this next page, you'll complete the information boxes requested. Note that those fields with an asterisk are required fields. Once this information has been completed, hit Next. On this page, you will be asked to read through the acknowledgement of the waiver. You will also be asked with which university departments you want your insurance information to be shared for the purpose of proof of eligibility and or claims processing in the event that you receive medical care services here. Once you've read through this page and agreed to the terms listed, click I agree. This next page is your confirmation page. It is strongly recommended that you print out this page or at least write down your confirmation number for proof of submission. It's important to note that when you next log into your Student Center, you will still see the Select slash Waive Coverage link and the system will allow you to re-enter your information. This is not necessary, however. If you have questions about whether or not your request to waive slash change coverage is successful, you can confirm this by viewing your online statement of account when it becomes available and making certain that there is not a listing for student health insurance in the itemized charges. Another fee you have the choice to waive is for student legal services. This is a $40 annual fee that appears on your autumn statement of account each year, but is prorated if your first time is spring or summer. We recommend that students pay the $40 fee each year to have access to the valuable resources and personnel available through Student Legal Services. For example, many students make use of these services to have a lease review before signing to live off campus in a house or apartment not owned by the university. If you wish to opt out of the fee, you may do so online through your Student Center at the time your statement of account becomes available each autumn of your first term at the university. In the Finances section, you'll see a drop-down menu with Other Financial listed. From this menu, you'll see that Student Legal Services is an option. Choosing this will take you to the opt-out screen, and the choice to opt-out will appear at the bottom of the screen. Remember, this can only be done after your statement of account becomes available, so until that time, you won't see any option to opt-out. 
as is the case right now.